Okay, so good afternoon, I guess, because it's not morning. Um, so I had told you guys that I, had, I needed to go to the, for the, to the W today, um, the W Hotel in, I guess, Westwood. Um, I didn't end up going, so I guess I might as well tell you guys what I was actually going for. It was going to be for a focus, um, like a marketing group, like a focus group to see uh, what college students and social media, I guess, had in common or something like that. But anyway, I didn't end up going because I got a little lost and I was already running late and they closed the doors at 11, so by the time I actually was even near the area, it was already like 11.05 and it was just kind of a disaster and my mom was like, well you should have gone earlier, which I know she's right, but at the same time it was like, okay, but you're acting like it's, you know, I just lost the opportunity to, you know, a job or something, which I didn't. It was like, they were going to give me $150 on a Visa gift card. Which is nice, but it wasn't like, I mean, $150, yes, it could get me some stuff, but it wouldn't really pay my bills because um, the majority of companies actually don't accept prepaid cards as a, payment, as a form of payment um, because it doesn't have your name or anything associated to it, So, and there's like fees, extra fees for it actually. So I don't even think that like what I needed to pay off would have taken it anyway. Um, so there was that, um, so yeah, but she, I don't know, she kind of acted like it was like this big deal, I'm like, okay, look, I feel bad, I, I, yes, I am frustrated that, but I, I was more frustrated that I didn't, like, the freeway kind of got me off on the wrong part, so I was going the opposite way, and then when I turned around, because I made this big loop to try to get back home, then I found where it was, and but by that time it was like 11.20, and they closed the door strictly at 11. So, um, I guess like till next time, if they call me again, um, I can just explain to them. Or I'll probably just write to them, just apologize and be like, oh, sorry, I didn't get there. I just, you know, hit a road bump or something like that. Because, you know, I'll have to make up something so I don't look too bad. I'll just say I had car trouble or something, or I, I, there was too much traffic or something like that. Um, so that's what it was for. I ended up going to class instead, which it, I mean, it's good because at least I got to go learn and everything and I saw my boyfriend and whatnot. And then I talked to T-Mobile because I told you guys about like this whole thing that they always like apparently now every little change you make to your plan, like let's say you get more minutes or something, like they automatically uh, restart your contract or revise it. So it like, it, then it starts from that point on two years. So like. If you keep making little changes, like, you're going to be on these two-year contracts all the time. And then to sign up for a phone, then you have to do, make a new contract, like, if you upgrade. So, either way, like, they kind of, like, are starting to put, hold you in. Like, you basically have to not call, not contact them in order for them not to do this. Um, but I just talked to the representative, and they said my letter got there, so they should get back to me within 10 days as of yesterday. Uh, so, I guess, nine days from today. Hopefully it doesn't take them forever because like I'd be really pissed. Either way, I'm still going to cancel the line. I just need to figure out like how I'm going to pay for it and everything. Um, but anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm heading to work now to pick up the baby and it's like, it was, it's been cloudy and then this sunny and then I'm pretty sure by the time I get to the baby it's going to be cloudy again. I've been wanting to take her to the park but it's just been impossible because it's just such bad weather um, and stuff so. I don't like it. Okay, big truck. So, um, so yeah. But, anyways, I mean, I'm still kind of like pissed at myself. I know that, you know, I've been doing so well with my timing, and then like, but this feels like I slid back, and it just frustrates me because it does make me think like, what if it was a job interview or just a job in general if I keep like doing this I'm not I'm really like if that's gonna be the downfall of my life like you know it's then it's pointless for me to try so hard so but it's something that I can work on and I can fix and I feel that I should just stop listening to you know my needs and my like my needs I'm uh, not my needs my wants and just listen to my needs in terms of like going to bed early and my ears keep popping today. I don't know what's wrong. Like, I, I just keep feeling this popping sensation. So I know it's something I really have to work on, though. Um, you know, this it's my one, like, character flaw, I guess, if you would 
if you go into like literary terms there. Um, but I don't think I'll be late for work, just in general. I do know that I take it my timing better, just because also it makes sure that I get stuff done throughout the day, you know? And I'm not groggy, and I think sometimes like that's what it is. Like I just kind of, my mind and stuff works too sluggishly, I guess, because I don't sleep, so my mind doesn't really recharge. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna concentrate on this rabbit then. Okay, so, um, my, sorry, I had like a braid going on. Um, my phone just started recording automatically. I don't know what it was, if it was like a movement or something. Very creepy. I didn't touch the record button. But anyway, I'm off work now. Um, I'm actually going to go to Starbucks because even though I know I'm probably going to spend some money that I don't necessarily have on coffee because I need to wake up um, or tea or whatever, um, I know it's also the only way I'm actually going to get my homework done. So even though I'm kind of hungry and everything, I'm going to at least go for an hour or so so I can get work done. Um, but I think I do have like some bucks that I can just use that I didn't calculate into my budget. So I'm good. Um, but yeah, I, I just know that it's like the only way I'm actually going to get any work done tonight. Cause I get home and then I start watching TV and stuff and I'm like this and my neck hurts because my TV's right above my desk, but it's like high up. So I'm like, uh, I really should lower that down now, even though it took forever. It was a bitch to put it up, but you live and you learn, right? Okay, I always forget to do this, but I mute it before I actually start filming. Um, I'm kind of tired right now, but I'll probably end up watching a little bit of more TV and then going to bed since I don't have class or anything tomorrow, so I can kind of sleep in. Um, but I do want to work on stuff tomorrow so that I can get it done and then maybe even go turn something in at school that I should turn in way long ago because I ha I've had it complete. I just haven't turned it in. Um... But anyway, so I ended up going to Starbucks, and I actually ran to one of the inst the swim instructors at the swim school that Dempsey goes to, and I guess she was studying as well. And then the barista Starbucks kid, um, Colin, he was talking about the Avengers and like trying to explain it to us. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm like, I'm down with it. I've I keep up with popular cultures and stuff. I'm like, I'm kind of nerdy, so I'm I'm all about the stuff. Um. So yeah, it was pretty interesting. And then I really had to pee though, like towards the end. So I'm like, oh my god, I better like run to the bathroom. And then they came back and did a little bit more work. Because I, fin so I finished one chapter there because I was like going back and forth. And then there was times where I, it was a little, like when it got hectic and stuff, it was just like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have sat so close to the bar. But that's where the seat were, like the only seat available. So, um... But yes, I ended up getting three chapters done tonight, so I'm good. I have 11 more to go. I'm trying to finish by Saturday night, but I know Saturday night, like after school, I'm going to be going to Starbucks for sure. So hopefully I can do some tomorrow, at least like one or two in the morning. And then maybe three more in the night because I'm working late, so I really don't have anything to do other than... And like, Friday sometimes does... Like, there's no good TV there's no good shows on TV so like everything's like kind of just like repeated because people are supposed to be going out on Saturday night which is what my boss is doing she's going to the Coldplay concert at the Hollywood Bowl um but yeah and I I also uh just finished I think one editing another vlog and saving so I'm getting closer I know I'm getting it's a very slow and agonizing process but I promise, especially like once I get my work done, I can concentrate on that um, for reals. Like that's my commitment. I also have to recommit myself to being on time and stuff. So that's what I'm trying to work on. Um, and then I have a few calls to make tomorrow as well uh, about school. So yeah, I've noticed that I really, I know this is like TMI, but I have to pee a lot lately. I don't know what it is. I think I've just been drinking too much Gatorade <laughs> or like because I've been thirsty and stuff, so I don't know. But anyway, and my mom goes into work late tomorrow, so hopefully she doesn't wake me up too early, but I want to get up, like, maybe around 11 or 10 or something, and then 
you know, get dressed. I'm gonna just take a shower in the morning because I'm tired and I don't want to wake up. But my eye keeps twitching and it feels like like my eyelid and my eyelash is kind of stuck together. But that's not the case. I think it's just like something that's going on. But it's annoying. So yeah. And uh, then I went to uh, Barnes Noble really quickly and went to the self-improvement section. Which apparently is like has a lot of good books. Which is sad that I find that interesting but yeah I actually had a time management book I'm like I really need that one although I do have an organization book somewhere around here so I should probably use that I should really look into my books and see what I need um and try to start decluttering my life I really feel like I should get something about that so I think that's what I'm gonna do in my summer I'm just gonna kind of concentrate on me for reals like since I don't have school um more so than the, these last few months and then really work on putting myself like little timelines so that I have places to be at in order to work on my punctuality. Um, so yeah, I just need to clear my bed because I have like a bunch of clothes that I was gonna, I was planning to wear, but I didn't end up wearing. Um, and yeah. But yes, I, sorry, I had like the biggest brain fart right now. So um, hopefully, like I was saying, I can finish like five. Um, or at least four different little essay things tomorrow so that on Saturday, I mean, yeah, so that on um, Saturday I only have like seven or six more to go. And I can do like maybe two to three in the morning and then the rest like just do, just stay at Starbucks until I finish it or they close, whichever comes first and then just come home finish it and have like this huge wait I know that makes for like a really uninteresting weekend and uninteresting vlogs but that is the life of a college student um oh, it smells really weird in here anyway so yeah anyway I'm gonna I, sh I should go to bed I really should go to bed and hopefully I can walk you through some of the college stuff tomorrow or not college stuff I can walk you like with you in the vlog so it doesn't look like I'm just here it looks more like I'm just like walking around like this so anyway yeah leave your comments below if you're also like cramming or if you've ever crammed all your assignments into two or three weeks um by the way for once my like my anthro class went back to normal capacity by the way but yeah anyway so I'm going to say goodnight now. Um, again, leave your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, goodnight.